We'll come back. The Mother's Day concert featuring Barrington Levy and Yellow Man will be a crime-free event. News Channel 8's Wes Small tells us why. I want to say early happy Mother's Day to one and all of the month out there. I'm here from Siga Prom Promotions and also Chief Benta, VIPD, St. Croix Division, as we're going to talk about the Mother's Day extravaganza, Barrington Levy and Yellow Man. Matter of fact, we're on our way to the airport in just a few minutes to greet these superstars as they come in. And we want to talk to Siga first about the big Mother's Day celebration and also to put all the... Um, um, all, to get it out that it's going to be a crime-free promotion and it's going to be airtight security with none other than Chief Benta's force out there from the VIPD. So, Siga, congratulations to you. This is going to be a big event. We've also been hitting it on On95 and all the radio stations, too. Yes, good afternoon. Yes, uh, I'd like to thank you so much for coming out here and playing a part of the major part of this is to show the people of St. Croix that the show is will be very secure. As you see on my right hand, I have Benta, so we're working with the security, and I want to urge the people that it's going to be no light terrain. You come into the event, you park your car, and you go straight in. Is the, the IPD is here, and they put you away from the premises. Also, for all of you vendors that park outside in the outskirt, sorry to say, but we won't have no vendors on the outskirt, because that's where the problems occur with these things that's going on on the island. And we want everybody to come out and enjoy themselves. A lot of people, a lot of mothers looking very forward to the show, and we don't want no one to mess up nothing. All right, Sigur, pretty strong words. And that's going to be excellent, Chief. Obviously, there's some current concerns about this Mother's Day concert at the racetrack. And like you said, the um, vendors and so forth, obviously, you put your heads together, and Sigur has taken your ideas and come up with it. If you want a, um, a crime-free event, this is what you have to do. Well, any event that brings family out in abundance where the children are also participating in any event, I always look forward to that. And the reason being is that our young men and women are at home quite often, alone by themselves, and afraid to come out and enjoy themselves with their family. We're going to ensure the family of those individuals, like we've done before, that we're going to make sure that you and your family, when you come out there, you're having a good time, crime-free. For those individuals who want to come out there and want to have a gun in their pocket or whatever have you, we'll show you, you're not going to get to the gate. You're not going to get to the gate. Of course, if you're caught with it, you're going to jail. Another thing is, uh, Wes, we're moving towards bringing forward this uh, 1020 life. If you're caught with a gun during the commission of a crime, that is going to be an automatic 10 years. Automatic. Automatic 10 years. If you pull that gun, but you don't use it, that's an automatic, automatic 20 years. If you use a gun, you shoot, maim, or just by discharging that gun, that's 25 to life. Serious times. So... To those young men and young ladies who hide these guns under your skirts in certain areas of your body, your cadaver, to assist these young men in getting these things in, knives and so forth, be forewarned as well. Uh, we are going to make sure that the parents who bring their children out there along with the family are going to have a grand time like we've done before. All right. And we look forward to that then, Chief, as well as we look uh, forward to Bogo um, as he'll be um, interviewing Yellow Man and Barrington Levy. Any last words from Siga and Siga Promotion, sir? Just have no fear. Everything is going to be good. It sure is going to be good. Yellow Man, um, what's his name? Tanto Mecha Devante, Barrington Levy, everybody's on the way. They'll be on the Miami flight. They should be touching down at least 245 today. All right, and News Channel 8 will be there. And here's something that perhaps you didn't know, that this Mother's Day concert with Barrington Levy and Yellow Man, the proceeds, a lot of the proceeds from SIGA Promotions are going to go to the Queen Louise home. And I'm here now with Miss Junia Stryker, who is the CEO of Lutheran Social Services. It's been a long time since News Channel 8 has been up here to Queen Louise. And um, I, first of all, um, we're going to get a little brief overview of what Queen Louise is, so just in case perhaps you just are new to the island and Queen Louise um, School. And perhaps you could tell us all about it, Ms. Stryker, please. Sure. Thank you. Um, Queen Louise Home is a program of Lutheran Social Services. Queen Louise Home has been around for over 104 years. Wow. Um, we've been caring for kids for over 104 years. Here on the campus, we have three programs. One is we, we provide a safe haven for children who have been neglected and abused. The second one that we have, we have a cottage, what we call Sister Emma's Cottage, where we provide care for um, children who are severely, um, either physically, well, both, uh, both physically and um, developmentally disabled. 
And then thirdly, we have the only, the first and only um, early head start program in the Virgin Islands where we provide services to um, uh, infants and toddlers and their families. We provide services for tw um, 36 of them and then 12 pregnant women. And we primarily fund Queen Louise Home by um, contracts with the Department of Human Services and also through the department, the Federal Department of Health and Human Services, and of course the general public. Traditionally, Queen Louise Home has had to um, fundraise roughly 25% of the support of the home. And so we're grateful that Mr. Baptiste has chosen Queen Louise Home to support, and that's not the first time he's supported us. And you know, this gives us a, a good opportunity to thank the public for the support that they've given us over the years. This is really trying time for every nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And so we appreciate every support that we can have, we can get. And so I thank Channel um, 8 for being here no and giving us this opportunity. And I also thank the public for, again, for all they've done. And um, come, I think out I to, could... come out to the Mother's Day concert. <laughs> I could say that. I could say that. She, her hands are kind of tied to promote this concert. But you know, even if you don't get a chance to see Barrington Levy and Yellow Man, then there's also a way that you could donate um, some goods, perhaps volunteer some time and some money to Queen Louise. In my opinion, this is the most attributable charity that you can give to in the world to me. It's just, I can't describe it to you how I feel when I come here, but trust me, if you've never listened to this reporter before, this is the best organization that you could donate to in the whole wide world. So how can people donate to you, to this organization? You can um, mail a check to PO Box 866, um, Frederickstead St. Croix, 00841. You could always drop by Queen Louise Home um, at that 71 Concordia. Um, and I'll give you an opportunity to see the home. And the telephone number, uh, and the telephone number is 772-4099, or you could call 772-0090. Um, there you go. I know you got a lot of numbers rattling around in your head. So there you have it. Make sure you check out the Mother's Day concert, and also make sure that you check out Queen Louise Home. Here with Ms. Stryker, she is the CEO of Lutheran Social Services. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.